been almost a year since I left my home in the East and traveled west with the man I loved. I was positive about my future, full of hopes and dreams. Our eyes were always on the end of the trail as if life as I envisioned it would be just that. In fact, if someone had told me that I would find myself here today, I would have called them crazy. I was sure of myself and where I was headed, stubborn and full of pride. I was in control, or so I thought. Quit acting like a kid, Marty. Get back here. No. Not until you admit that I am right and head this way. We're going in the right direction. We're going north! Mr. Graham said to go north. He said to go northwest. Don't you think it's strange we haven't come upon it yet? Well, we'd be there already if the weight of these books hadn't slowed us down. Those books will provide us with a little culture once we get oh, settled. well, it's just too bad we can't eat any of that culture. Ugh. That 200 pounds of beans and rice that we had to toss off the wagon to lessen the weight would taste a whole lot better right now than the 200 pounds of books we got. None of this would have happened if you hadn't talked me into coming out here to the middle of nowhere, Aaron Claridge. <laughs> we both know that you don't do anything you don't want to do. For once in your life, be reasonable! I'm tired. Sick and tired of the dirt and miles that seem to lead nowhere and the layers of dust on my skin. Aching feet, aching back. If I never sit in that wagon again, it'll be all right by me. Marty. I see. Like a picture. Can you see it? Just over there. A cabin with curtains in the windows. And over here, a barn. And a garden where we'll grow our own food. Those trees are just made for swings for all those kids who are going to look just like their mama. I don't mind if they look like their father. We did it. <laughs> we actually did it, Marty. This just feels right, doesn't it? This will be the perfect place to raise a family. Pass down the land to our children and give them opportunities that are limitless. We can do anything, as long as we're together. Even if things get rough, we'll remind each other of that, okay? I promise. Dad, blame it. Marty. One of the horses got away. Oh no, Aaron. I'm taking the other horse and I'm going after him. Shouldn't be gone too long. He's probably just a ways downstream. I'm coming with you. No need. I'll be back with the horse before breakfast. Make up a lot of pancakes. I'll be hungry.
Martin. It's Claridge. Ben. Ben Graham, ma'am. Met you a couple days back. Found him about an hour ago. Clarence, can I get you some water? Ma'am? <laughs> Miss Clarence? Well, I guess you'll be needing time to... to think, uh... My wife will see to your husband. The preacher's leaving... tomorrow. I can bring him back here first thing in the morning. Say a few words. Oh. You're fine. Mrs. Claridge? Marty? It's me. Sarah Graham, Ben's wife. You met me a couple days ago. Yeah. Marty. It's time. We need to start your husband's funeral. We don't want to be starting it without you. I would appreciate just, just a moment, please. We'll wait.
Aaron Claridge journeyed west in search of a dream. His untimely death means that one journey is over. Another has just begun. Winter is coming, and there's no wagon train heading east till spring. I don't know how you fix for money to board in town, but you're gonna have to make a decision in soon. Well, you take tonight and think on it, and Ben will come and check on you tomorrow. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm Clark Davis, and I'm truly sorry about your loss. I have a proposition for you. I know it's not the right place or the right time. But I figure if we marry, It'll help solve both our problems. You have a roof over your head, and all your needs will be met. And my Missy, well, she'll have a mama. I know it sounds crazy, and the timing is unlikely, but you have to understand the preacher is leaving the area today, and he's not going to be back until spring. And I ask this only for my daughter. I'm thinking. But she needs a woman's hand in parts of her life. I know it's not the perfect solution. But when the wagon train heads back east in the spring, I'll pay the passage so you can go home. You help me get home? If that's what you want. I'll leave you to think on it, ma'am. I got a new ma. He's lying to me. Is that true, Clint? No, sir. She poked me right in the nose for no good reason. You're a liar. That is so a good reason. Hey, where uh, do you think you're going? Uh, I apologize. Sorry. Sorry. What did I tell you about fighting with girls? I ain't fighting with no girl. It's just Missy. Get inside. Go on. No worries. Come on, Missy. We need to talk. I don't want to do this. I just want to go home. Now you listen to me. There is no place in this part of the country waste your time crying over wants. 
Your life's about needs now. You need a roof over your head for the winter. That's what you bargain for. We are here today, gathered in the Lord's name, to join this man and this woman in marriage. Please join hands. Will you, Clark Davis, take Marty Claridge to be your lawful wedded wife? I will. And will you, Marty Claridge, take Clark Davis to be your husband? Just answer, I will. I will. Then I pronounce you man and wife. He'll be sharing. I'll get my things moved into the lane, too. <clears throat> Saved you some ham. I'm not much of a cook, but it's usually pretty filling. I've never seen nobody sleep so long. I thought you might be dead. Missy, go and wait for me in the wagon. Got some things I need to tend to. I'll be taking Missy with me. <clears throat> Won't be back till supper.
sleeping again. Mm -hmm. Let's go have our supper. Pa, uh, is she all right? No. But she will be. Bless this dear child in her time of grief. And bless this food before us, and we thank you for the fine day ahead of us. Amen. You got an awful lot of pearl dresses. Seems like you got an awful lot of fancy things that aren't good for much in We fetched all. your wagon for you yesterday and we brought it into the barn. What are you gonna do with all them books? I checked to see if there was any food that would spoil when I was picking up your things. We planned on buying supplies as soon as we found our land. Books must be pretty important to you. I'll see if we can find space for him in the cabin. I'm not sure what you're expecting from me. Come with me. Missy's nine years old. She works almost as hard as I do, sun up to sundown. Has been for the last couple of years. She never complains. But the work is still in her childhood. She doesn't know what she's missing. But I do. Yeah. Maybe if somebody's there to share the chores, she'd have time to learn some of the things I think you could teach her. Things she'd learn from her mother. And when I go home in the spring? I figure I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. The books. How did you know they were mine and not Aaron's? Oh, well, man would have thrown them off the wagon at the first big hill. Unless he was trying to please a stubborn woman. Here. I thought you could use some help. What would you like me to do? You may need a place to stay, but I don't need a mother. Paul and me have been doing just fine. I'm a little unsure about what to do. Why don't you show me how to get those eggs out from underneath their, you know. Their rears? Cow. K A Close. It's C O W. Gertie don't care if I know how to spell cow or not. Gertie doesn't care. But I do. And so does your pa. So let's try another one. Spell fun. F How do you spell warm? Warm W A R M. I think you better W A R M your hands. What? Well, how do you expect her to give you good milk when you're freezing her like that? Probably spill milk and sure can't do it. <clears throat> How'd you get to be so old without not knowing how to do nothing?
didn't mean to. I know exactly what you're meaning to do, Missy. Now you listen to me. You're not my mother and I don't have to listen to you. As long as I am here. I don't want you here. I've got news for you. I don't want to be here either. But the fact of the matter is I made a bargain with your father and I intend to keep my end of that bargain even if you do everything short of trying to kill me in the process. So the way I see it, if I can survive traveling for months in a covered wagon, losing my husband, marrying a complete stranger, I can survive you. So how was your day? Fine. You're fine. I ran into Ben and Sarah Graham in town today, and they were asking after you. That was kind of them. Actually, they invited us all to their annual get-together. Is it already time? It is. You see, the Grahams have a party uh, this time of year. So all the folks can get together before we're stuck inside for the winter. We'd understand it if, you know, you went up for a party. But it's up to you. Yeah, you probably wouldn't like it. There's tons of people you won't know. You probably just like stay at home better. Don't you think, Paul? I think I will go. Good. What is it? I just need to talk to you. Missy's asleep and I'm ready for bed. Can't we talk tomorrow? Well, that's just it. I, I won't be here tomorrow. I'm, uh, I'm leaving before sunup. I'm gonna help our neighbor. Fine. What well, is? What else? I'll be leaving Missy here with you. That is why I'm here. Yeah. I, you know, I just wasn't sure if you were up to dealing with the spirited. I'm fine. Something else? No. I'll be back by supper. Fine. Good night. Good night. Missy? better get out of here. Why don't you come down so we can get to work? Okay. Just as soon as he leaves. He? <gasps> Just come down slowly. I've read that they won't spray unless they feel threatened. You read that in one of your books? Uh-huh. And you believe it? I do. Well, not me. I'm starving and I gotta use that outhouse, something fierce. But I'm not coming down. <coughs> Buddy, no! <coughs> Take the smell away. More or less. Some of it's just gonna have to wear off. Mm. Mm. The fire's died. But could you? I ain't supposed to. I could burn myself. <sighs> Something's burning. Oh no. Oh! Oh, Dad, blam it! Ouch! Let me help oh. you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Missy. Get me some butter, would you? Come on, sit down. It's fine. No, you sit down here. I'm gonna wrap it up now. Oh, here. Thank you. 
It's nothing, really. Okay. Yeah, now this will just take some of the sting out. <sighs> Pancakes are all burnt. Here you go. Like that. You know, you get the hang of that stove. It just takes a little practice. That's all. <clears throat> so where'd the skunk find you? The barn. Better get some more tomatoes, Pa. Took almost a whole bushel to get her smelling this good. Well, I'll see what we've got for supper in the icebox. Missy, why don't you go ahead and stoke that fire? I'll try to get all the things on your list for you while I'm in town. <clears throat> you sure you don't want to go with us? No. She said she don't. Doesn't. Hope you can make something better than burnt pancakes. Too bad I'll be gone, because I can make some real good fried chicken. I'm ready, Pa. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. How hard can it be? <sighs> if a child can do this, I can do this. Come here, Chicky. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dad, grab it. out with the grain. Ugh, you better be worth it. Huh. Looks like a coyote got in there. More like a wild woman with an axe. You're back. Supper's ready. You made fried chicken. Good, because I was getting awful sick of pig. <clears throat> Me too. Sure won't want to have to wash all that. I left half my things at home. It's kind of wasteful, don't you think? Wasteful? To have so many. You can only wear one dress at a time. Surely you must have some dresses of your own. One for when the raven passes this way and holds a service. Like I said, you can only wear one dress at a time. My mama made beautiful quilts. Hers will put this here pattern to shame. She made quilts for all the neighbors when they had their babies. I'm sure they appreciated that. Folks love my mama. Especially my pa. That's why his eyes ain't sparkly like they used to be. She certainly was beautiful. She was the prettiest thing you ever saw. Everybody said so. You must miss her very much.
Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. Where's your father going? On his Sunday walks. It's his time to be alone and talk to the Lord. Everybody has a lot to talk to him about this morning. What'd you say? I think I'll take a little walk of my own. You were right here by yourself? It's just because I know pink is your favorite color. I love it when you wear pink, Mama. You always look so pretty. There. Land in the sun will make you feel better. Come here, Mama. So I would have said you're just like this. And I wouldn't have made you tired or sad. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. And I miss you. How could you do that? Missy, I didn't mean to be there. But I do know what you're feeling. Don't say that. You don't know nothing. I do want to help you. I don't want your help. I hated that you were here. Bye before you came. I wish it was spring so you'd leave. I didn't mean to. I I was cold. I I didn't mean to walk in and her like that. I know what you mean. I mean about last night, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk. I don't know, know what I was thinking. I can't stay here. Why? Why? That little girl hates me. You were right. She does need a mother. But I'm not the right person. She doesn't know it, but she's still grieving. That's why you're the right person. It's not going well. It's going just the way I thought it would. I, mean, I knew she wouldn't like it at first. Then why put her through this? Because I love her. And she needs more than I can give her. Seems like an awful lot of trouble to go through for just a few months of lessons and letters and sewing. Nothing's a waste of time. It adds to the person that you are. And I'm counting on the fact that knowing you is going to add to the person that Miss Heath will become. I know you can find a way to get through to her. How do you know? That's what I prayed for. <sighs> I 
Maybe I will. We're ready. Thanks, Pa. Flies with your mouth hanging open like that. <gasps> what do you expect? February. How did you know? Well, when Ellen was expecting Missy, she'd hold on to her belly. Like you just did. Oh. I was going to tell you. The baby won't be a problem, and I'm sure it won't change the fare for when I go home in the spring. You must be thinking I should have told you. Actually, I was thinking I'm glad you're going to have a little one. To remember him by. And the what? Why? 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 Keep trying to sound it out. In the wagon. Good. I'm tired of trying. It's too hard, and I don't need to read anyhow. Okay, fine. You don't care if I do it? No, not if you don't like adventures. Reading ain't no adventure. Once you can read, you can have every adventure you ever dreamed of. In the pages of a book, you are a princess in a tower, or the best shot in the West. In those pages, there are no limits to where you can go, who you can be. No one will ever tell you you're too young to slay the dragon because it all happens right here where it's safe.
I guess it wouldn't hurt them to practice a little bit more. I'll be back. Okay, Paul. I think a walk will do me good as well. Coming over to settle in the snake bite. It's white out. Where's Marty? Isn't she here? She, she went walking back when you did. Hey, I'm not back here in ten minutes. You use the gun. You open the door, two hands, raise it above your head. You keep firing until you see me, alright? Whatever you do, you don't leave that door.
But what about the baby? The baby's fine. Okay, go on and get some rest. We should never have gone after that horse. Man loses a horse, he goes after it. It's as simple as that. Thank you, Father, for this food, this shelter, and this companionship. And as we come into the season of the birth of your son, please make our hearts thankful that he came. Amen. I love Christmas. And I already know what I'm gonna make you, Pa. Is it something I can wear? He's always trying to trick me into telling him. But I'm smarter than that. So, what do you do to get ready for Christmas at your house? Well, about a week before Christmas, we go to Franklin's and pick out a nice pine tree. There's pine tree growing in the city? No. It's a tree lot. Someone has already cut them down. You don't get to pick your own tree and see which one smells the best, which one looks the prettiest in the snow? Not exactly. But we find one we like, then someone delivers it to us. Then we add to our ornament collection by going to Purcell's store. They have the most beautiful glass balls and red ribbons to put on the tree. We make hot cocoa, drink it by the fire. And then your pa reads you the Christmas story. Um, no. Why not? Well, it just wasn't something that we did. Christmas without a Christmas story. Well, when you get back, you have to tell him to read it to you. My father passed away a couple of years ago. What about your mama? Actually, she's gone too. So, who will you spend Christmas with when you get back home? Well, I used to have it with Aaron, of course. I have an aunt that I'm close to. And I have friends there, you know back home. You can certainly have Christmas with your friends, can't you? I mean, there's no hard, fast rule that it has to be with family. Well, you'll have your baby now. You could spend Christmas with it and teach Lucy, it all about you. <clears throat> supper's getting cold. How about a little less talking and a little more eating? Anyway, the joy of the season is a, it's a gift. It's right there for everybody, right for the taking. Doesn't matter where you spend it or, or who you spend it with. Jerusalem. 
Where is he that is born the King of Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Marty? Hmm. Where'd this baby come from? Well, you know, from... Hasn't your pa ever told you? No. Maybe you should ask him. Don't you know where your own baby come from? Came from. And yes, of course I do. It's the same as you. My husband Aaron loved me so much. It spilled over and made a baby. What spilled over? It. What's it? The love. I think that button is still loose. Wow. What? Just thinking about all the brothers and sisters Clint has. There's been a lot of love spilling over at the Grahams. Indeed. I wonder if my pa could ever feel that way about someone again. He could, I guess. Give me your hand. Feel. What's that? That is someone who's getting pretty impatient to get out and meet you. I thought it was just back pain that I was having, but now I'm not so sure. You having regular pains? Just starting to. Uh -huh. I think it's time. I'm gonna go get Missy. There is no way I am letting you be my, my midwife find someone else! There ain't no time for that. Is it? And it's okay. I'll make time. Did you deliver Missy? No, no, there was Sarah. But Pa delivered plenty of cows. Oh, that's good. I feel so much better. We're gonna need plenty of hot water. Now you run out to the barn, get my shears. We'll need to sterilize it. No, Missy, Missy, don't you dare. Go on. I would rather give birth in a field than have you in here. Birth is a, is a natural event, Marty. Oh, you feel what I'm feeling and tell me how natural it is. Now get out! Oh, oh, God, I can't do this alone. Please help me. Please, please help me. Push. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Push. Push. Come on, push. You're doing fine. You're doing fine, Marty. Come on. You were more louder than Gerda when her baby came out. <laughs> Have you got a name? Aaron Luke. Aaron after his father. Luke after mine. Hmm. It's amazing, isn't it? What's that? This. Powerful love that just sweeps over you. It's amazing. Weather's mighty tempting. I thought the fresh air might do us both some good. Yeah. You warm enough? Mm. Oh, he seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> hey. Company coming. <laughs> 
Pa. Go ahead. You can do your Whoa. chores later. Whoa. Whoa. Hi, Clint. Whoa. Let's Come go on. play. Oh. <laughs> Howdy. Ben, Sarah, welcome. You're looking a little more arrested since the last time I paid a visit. I can hardly believe he's already a month old. It just doesn't seem possible. <laughs> yeah, they grow when you're not looking. Blink and you just might miss it. <laughs> That's what Clark said about Missy. Clark understands and appreciates that. He seems to be right fond of little Aaron. I think he is. <sighs> I bet little Aaron has you thinking on his pa a lot lately, huh? He would have been so happy and proud to have a son. Babies are a testament to love. They're living proof of what you and your husband share together. Nobody can ever change that. <laughs> I still see Laura's dad every time her curls are bouncing in the wagon. <laughs> ben had blonde curls? Not Ben, Marty. Laura's daddy. He was my first husband, Thornton. I was a widow. I had two little ones. When I met Ben Graham, he had two young ones of his own. I guess you might say we joined forces out of sheer need. But Sarah, I... You and Ben, I, I just assumed you loved each other. Oh, we do. Now. I got more love in my heart for that man than anybody ought to be allowed. I can't even tell you when it happened. You know, sometimes love isn't fireworks. Sometimes love just comes softly. If you two are through Gavin, it's time we best be getting home. I will come when I'm good and ready, Ben Graham. Well, that's fine, then. Can't say for sure if the buggy will still be here when you're ready. Enjoy your pie. <laughs> On real <old> goat. Stay with the children. Please, God. If you're really there and listening to me, take care of Clark. Please let him come out, all right? Please, God. Oh. Marty, what's happening? You lost your wagon and all your possessions in the fire. I know. I made you a promise last fall and I intend to keep it. 
I'll be going into town soon to replace that feed. And if you're wanting to, we can see about your way home. We should put some ointment on your hands and wrap them so they won't get infected. Here's some coffee. Thank you. What are you going to do? Our neighbors have offered to collect some logs and raise a new barn. Ben said he'd take care of the milk cow, feed her in exchange for some milk. So I'll get my feed built back up. I think it's gonna be fine. Pretty much got it worked out. Just keep praying for answers. Why do you think he'll answer your prayers? He always answers my prayers. Really? Did you pray for this? Martin. Did you pray to have Ellen taken away from you? Did you pray that little Missy would grow up never knowing her real mother? I just don't understand why the God that you pray to would let such unthinkable things happen to decent people. Come with me. Where? What about the children? I don't know. Missy can watch Aaron for a little while. Where are we going? Going to church. <laughs> Missy could fall down and, and hurt herself. Even if I'm walking right there beside her, that doesn't mean that I allowed it to happen. Because she knows, with the Father's unconditional love, I'll pick her up and I'll carry her. I'll try to heal her. I'll cry when she cries. And I'll rejoice when she is well. In all the moments of my life, God has been right there beside me. The truth of God's love is not that he allows bad things to happen. It's his promise that he'll be there with us when they do. I'll go back to the cabin. Do you want to stay a while? All right. Missy, would you do me a favor and get your paws dirty clothes? Get what you get. Yes, ma'am, I will.
morning. Good morning. Smells good. Excuse me. Uh, that wet winter we had sure did make the ground soft for planting. I haven't seen you turn a page for 30 minutes. I can't seem to concentrate. I'm going over to the Grams tomorrow. I'm gonna help Ben brand his new calves. Do you wanna come along and visit with Sarah? I don't think so. I should probably spend the day packing. It's about that time. Are you sure? I'll let Missy know. Everything seems to be in order. You'll be leaving shortly. Would you? I wish I didn't have to leave. Then stay. I just can't. I want you to have my books. And this. My mother gave it to me. I might be leaving, but my love is staying here with you. Please say goodbye to Sarah and Ben for me. I'll always be grateful that you were there that day. I don't know what I would have done. We'll get my things moved out and lean to.
Father. I don't know why you brought Marty into my life. Only to have her leave like this. I know I don't always understand your plan. But I ask you, with a shattered heart, please help me to accept it. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to bring Marty back. You don't leave the cabin. I'll be back as soon as I can. to be leaving this godforsaken part of the country. I wouldn't call it godforsaken. Horrible snowstorms. Beautiful sunsets. Rich soil. A woman has to be crazy to stay. Crazy. Or in love. This woman, he goes after her. It's as simple as that. I thought you wanted me to go. I didn't see the note. You didn't try to stop me. Until today. Don't leave. Stay with us. Stay with me. Please. But I, but I have to stay for the right reasons. Stay because I love you. I, I love you. Maybe I should stay because I love you. 